environment was this, in that environment it was difficult to see how Pio could have lived by having a public throne with the father of the nation. Although it was not released at the time, if it had got out, there was this, you know, this is a really he paid a high price, did it? Oh, but it has there ever been just one thing. But has there ever been from that time to now, has there ever been a serious investigation? They still keep writing on it in the papers. In the papers, it's still no, but but in the papers, it's still debated off and on, isn't it? No, but I'm talking any any official investigation at the instance of the Israeli. Well, they had an investigation. They had a guy. They jailed him for 35 years. They released Walter Sisoum. Sisoum, yes. My big question to the government at one stage was, why don't we have a joint FBI British forensic medicine? investigation. But the, but the thing basically they said was, but they went through the Truth and Justice Commission, and the Justice Commission basically said what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, but if you get forensic medicine, there's nothing left to investigate. No, no, yeah. no, at that time, okay. no, what was supposed to be the motive? You said they got some guy and, and put him in jail. Yeah. Now, what was supposed to be his motive? Whitewash. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's what you say, and our husband yeah, said. No, what, what, said. What did the prosecution say? What the prosecution, was his? The, pros the prosecution basically said we have ever, they pro produced people who saw, gave them a nine plus count. They have, they have also to attribute some motive why that man would kill people. Well, they, they didn't. Yeah. There was a huge cover up. Yeah. No, no, that was the all. Huge cover up. When you are talking, he is, he is your view of the subsequent governments, the subsequent governments after Jomo. What they did. Daniel Ahmoy and. They were all oh, he, he said, what they did. Okay, they, they beat the confession. <coughs> oh, but, but no, what I wanted to know, what was the stand of the government on the issue? Mm -hmm. The government on the issue is beautiful because on the front page of the nation, the John Pinyanda. Yeah. 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 Anyone who objected to the Pinyanda did not live. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Check, check the case of uh, yeah. Tom Hoyer, yeah. yeah. Robert Oku. Yes. Nothing. They are all invented. Yeah. Can you the land where murderers run free? Just to answer your question again. Are you okay? They beat, they beat a confession out of him and said that was all the proof we need. Of course, advocate is asking from a legal point of view, but no, I think I, I think the, the context there may be different from what we are used I'm to. Even. Asking from the yeah. other legal point of view. I'm asking from the, the political point, point of view. Look, a government, uh, when a uh, uh, front line meeting, yeah. a person like Gampito is killed, and from what I read in broad daylight, there has to be, when they prosecute, there has to be some motive that they attribute. He was a politician. Unless they prove that it was some private view. Yeah, I think that was having an affair with some uh, woman and her husband killed him. Or nothing, or nothing. Or I think he Advocate, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know yeah. what happened to, to even yeah. to John Kennedy's assassination case and they are still no, debating it. That is what there was even more intrigue there, no? No, no, that is what I'm saying. Because Jack Ruby got killed Think in time. Think about it all, gentlemen, ladies, is this. Kenyatta said, kill. Yeah, yeah. You're dead. No, no, what, uh, okay, I'm sorry to be, to be pushing this, but yeah. what I'm saying, what did the government, on the next day, That's what stand did the government take? The government took, we, uh, John Kinnear himself came out and said, it broke my heart <laughs> to see that this young and brilliant young man, who was a wonderful servant of Kenya, has been killed by people who are absolutely evil or worse. But he didn't really, no, he didn't really. He orchestrated it with the CIA. How did, um, did Murumi survive? Um, because he just left the scene. He was not there. Murumi was not in the political room. Yes, he was. For six and months. For six not months. months. Was was vice president. He was vice, only no, no, vice no, no, president. No, no, no. Harry, Harry, Harry. He was one of the great freedom fighters of our time. That way, yes. And the, the only thing that, 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 what, that happened to Murumi was this. He was a secret admirer of Pio. Pio was a secret admirer of him. And he was of the same mind, not so, not, not so much the politics, but he was of the same mind as Pio that the, the, the food security language should be carried around. <coughs> when he saw Kenyatta using the land to transfer money in cabinet to do the things that he did, that's when he said, I can't believe myself, I can't believe myself, I can't believe this myself. So he, he resigned. He went into a commercial thing, and then he went into his art, he went into his books, and he got, he got, he got, he got very large farm donations. Uh, 
There's an interesting chapter which uh, brings us up to date on what happened to his art treasures and his and his family home. But what my question is, where is Murumbi's uh, Giri connection? Everyone talks about it, but no one has put their finger on. I don't know the answer to the question. Yeah. The, 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 the only person who knows the answer to the question is Alan Darabo, who Murumbi adopted and who succeeded, uh, who became virtually his, 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 his inheritor. But his, his getting lost in uh, Karnataka, what is today Karnataka, then Mysore, is quite tragic in itself because for 15 or 16 or whatever years, he just lost all contact with his Africa and his father told him that his mother had been eaten by a lion so he refused to go back. Yeah. Who was that? Murumbi. Yeah. And then yeah. his father was gone. His father was gone. No. In, his, uh, okay. in his younger days. In his younger days when he was a student and then finally his father said no, no, your mom is around so he went back to Africa. It's, it's the full... I get, I get the impression that the Gorms that left East Africa to the distant lands did very well out of all of that. Yeah. They did very well. Yeah. The opportunities opened up. You know, and they did well. But but even even the the Africa Goans who came back to Goa may not have not done very well in a financial sense, but they have done very well in a cultural and many other senses. One is sitting at the side of you who translates yes, from so Konkani in to English. Yes. In so side, so yeah. In hindsight, life in, in Canada, in the US, yes. and in the UK, it's fantastic. The opportunity because if you look at the young people, yeah, exactly. the sons of those migrants, yeah. college those young young migrants. One thing about uh, Pio, he was a very unpretentious person. So simple. I met him personally in Emma and on this week, for example. He was so simple. He never looked like that he had the whole uh, thing in his hands like that. But he was a very determined. He was an idealist. He was an idealist. Yeah. 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 I mean, one thing you are wrong. From the little I know, he was not an idealist. Yeah, yeah, but it's also a period where the <laughs> individual didn't have security. So if you're not an idealist, how can a man actually dedicate his whole life? No, no. And because he was a rational, no, skip. No, the term idealism has a different context in a philosophical sense. Maybe yeah. advocate yeah. is referring yeah. to that. How can a man? all of himself to the point when he's dead that there is only 1,000 shillings in his bank <coughs> and the reason there is 1,000 shillings that 1,000 shillings is virtually nothing in his bank account is because soon after he got married he made sure that he set out his wife to work and every cent he earned and wherever, wherever he got it from went into the mama went into the ass because then he's looking after the widows I mean, how do you describe such no, no, I do. No, I do. No, no. I mean, you mean if you mean that he had a goal that he knew he could not achieve, that would have been an idealist. But uh, I don't think it, it, I don't think it was that. Anyway, he made it's a rational, intelligent choice of a little way of life that he planned to achieve. The fact that some other brutes uh, will cut him down is not. No. Mean anything. I, idealism in simple English and in philosophy has two different kind of meanings. So idealism as against materialism, and so we let's not get into that debate. But uh, you know, no, I mean, yeah. Which is normally attributed yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. All I know is he was committed to the cause. All I know is that you're single-minded. You couldn't possibly waver one way or the other. Yeah. Speak loudly if you don't mind because let everyone hear. Pio was educated in, in Bombay and he lived till the age of 18. He took part in trade union congress in, in Bombay. And there was a lot of activity and sporting of course. He wanted to liberate Goa at that time. And then the British were uh, the greatest uh, uh, Portuguese, probably, allies. Ally. The Consul General in Bombay was, uh, had already planned with the British to arrest people, British to arrest people, and hand it over to, because he was 
born in Goa, any person born of Indian parentage is a Portuguese citizen. They wanted to report him to Tarapan, the island where detention was, or the detainees were kept, police prison. He was the sense of it as he jumped in and went to, went to Nairobi, went home. And he worked from there. I worked in Pio. I only met him in 59. Oh, he went from? No, in, in Nairobi. Then he came to see me. And then we started working together. He worked. He's helped to grow up for many, many, many Mozambicans. And I wanted to come to Nairobi. And I had to ship them to to small small with my family, friends. And then they would disperse. And everything was arranged for them. So somebody had to take care of this political refugees. Pio Pinto and Murundi worked together and the salary was 60 pounds sterling each. Pio used to tell his wife, uh, my salary is only 25 pounds. This 25, the other remaining 25 pounds went to look after the widows and, and the children of the detainees and he paid the expenses but the uh, old of Dr. Yusko. Uh, Muslim uh, doctor in Kenya. And he paid Dr. Yusuf three years after. Meanwhile, Dr. Yusuf was hundreds of them were lying down outside the census. He went uh, across to Hungary and Dr. Sabatia. And they gave him a lot of help. Pio Pinto agreed with them to help them set up a, 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 an advertising agency. And I was involved, I was involved by, by Team Pio to organize the advertising agency. Kubesh was the child that said, the first of us and the sea. And he got the first. Ovinia Ovinia was the son of the brother of Kenyatta. So what Kenyatta was doing was anyone, any foreigner who was involved with Theo were declared prohibited in the legal. Kubesh was deported by the diplomat, so Kenyatta was diplomatic status. And eventually, whoever objected in the other never saw the day of the, the dawn next morning because they were during the night all met with a mysterious accident, car crash, and kill. Every one of them, not just one and two. And, uh, And that's how he maintained. He got rid of her, you know, everybody. Aurina uh, uh, was the vice president. He, let, he was thrown out, or rather he was forced to leave. He went to, to Kisumu. He used to work from there. And that's when Rumi was 